Hey there! I'm Mr. C, broadcasting to you in sunglasses because, ugh, I got a case of the pink eye. But don't worry, I'm not contagious through the YouTubes. So let's learn how to group things by twos. Right, we're going to use skip counting in real life, okay? And that's why you should be asking me, Mr. C, why do I care about grouping things by twos? You're going to use it in real life, kid. I'm telling you, I use it all the time when I'm counting things, especially when I'm counting large numbers of things. Somebody dumps a bucket of stuff on the table and says, hey, we got to count this up. I put things in groups. And so I'm going to show you how I would group things by two and make counting easier. This is kind of the perfect number of objects to be grouping things by two. It's kind of like, all right, there's more than 10 here, but there's not like 30 or 40. So I'm gonna group things by twos. And let me show you how I do it. Just pull it off to the side, right? If these were pennies on a table, you could literally just be pulling them off in groups of two. Look, two more, two more, two more. Oh man, there's only one left. All right, I'll just put it on the side by itself. And now, watch me use skip counting. Now that I've grouped things by twos, right? Two, 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 two. I can count by twos, skip count by twos, and I'll know how many objects I have. I'm gonna pretend like these are pennies. Ready? Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, plus one more is 15. Look, I have 15 yellow circles on this page, and I know that because I grouped them up by twos, and I skip counted. Awesome, I want you to try this. Go get a handful of pennies and drop them on the table, and then group them by twos and count them up. And you know what, I'm gonna show you how to group by fives next. So I'll see you in that video.